We have some surprisingly good news in terms of cryptocurrencies in, believe it or not, the United States, uh, and also what's going on with Argentina and their newest president and the IRS showing its ugly teeth at the FTX and their unpaid taxes. That's what I'm gonna talk about in today's video. If you enjoy these daily updates, I appreciate it. Hit the like button and hit subscribe because we get them out every day. <laughs> okay, but first let's do a quick recap of what's happened in Argentina since its newest president, Javier Mille. I don't know if I'm saying his name right. I know you guys will correct me in the comments and I do appreciate it. Uh, there's a few things that have happened since his recent election. The Argentinian peso has dropped in value by 50% and he is not really being super vocal or having a lot of plans laid out in terms of cryptocurrency friendliness for any new official government policy in Argentina. So us crypto enthusiasts who love to see crypto adoption in these different countries with El Salvador obviously leading the uh, the charge there and Argentina, we're hoping to be following, but you go, you know, Toby and I aren't too uh, optimistic on politicians. So we're gonna see how this develops in Argentina, but for now, not much in terms of cryptocurrency there. We'll see if, how that develops. Also, we have the IRS going after FTX, the now bankrupt uh, exchange for $24 billion worth of unpaid taxes. That is what the IRS is claiming. Now, for those of you who can do some basic math and you know the amount of money that's been recovered, uh, you know, in an effort to repay those who have been creditors of FTX, those who had funds on that exchange when it went down, they only recovered, I think it was seven or eight billion. And now the IRS wants 24 billion. Now here's what the FTX lawyers are saying. That's not gonna happen because apparently FTX has reported losses all three years of its existence. And so they are saying they don't owe the IRS anything. Also, uh, this is gonna be taken to a court this coming week where a judge will decide if the IRS has any claims over these 24 supposed billion dollars in unpaid taxes because we all know now that if the IRS does get these unpaid taxes paid to them by FTX, that is money getting taken out of the pockets of these uh, creditors who are already getting a fraction of, of what they were gonna be returned to them anyway. So the IRS is showing its ugly teeth yet again. They're just looking out for number one. They're not trying to protect you against the evils of cryptocurrencies. They're trying to get what's theirs. So I, I recommend you do the same, guys. Before we get into the good news of today's story, I have even better news okay, is that 70% of the supply of Bitcoin has been held for over a year. So congratulations to those of you, at least maybe this is in terms of, you know, a bear market, obviously, or maybe those are being very strategic, trying to get the long-term capital gains for those of you in Portugal, if you hold over a year, it's tax-free. Uh, but so we're seeing hodling, even though Bitcoin has a new yearly high that's been reached recently, people still aren't selling and we gotta love to see that. So. The main story of today comes from the United States, believe it or not. The main good news, uh, the Financial Accounting Standards Board, the FA the FASB has now announced new rules that will require companies to account for cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin at fair value. This is something that's never been done before. And it could incentivize companies to actually hold Bitcoin on their books if it's a bull market. That's obviously the most beneficial time uh, for this special reporting to come in because now starting December 15th, 2024, but I think companies can do this even ahead of time, but officially uh, December 15th, 2024, every quarter companies, if they have cryptocurrency on their order books, will have to report the fair value of those cryptocurrencies. And if the price of those cryptos have gone up since a company purchased it, they can report it as a profit for their company, making their company look pretty darn good. So it's great during a bull market, especially if this is gonna be, you you know, input in December 2024. But you have to remember the reverse of this is that 
markets move in cycles, nothing goes up forever. And so occasionally these companies will be reporting losses and how will that affect uh, their reputation and the status of that company? We're gonna have to wait and see. Is this the influence that BlackRock is having on crypto in the United States now? You know, there is another article a few days ago saying how BlackRock was basically telling the SEC, you better not label Bitcoin as a security because that's gonna be bad news. So kind of blatant uh, throwing around their, their weight there publicly in the media. But here's another example of how things are kind of shifting at least a little bit in the United States. We're already seeing how the IRS is treating FTX, like I mentioned before. So there's still a lot of room to grow in terms of improvement. And once, you know, Senator Warren is still out and about in the Senate, there's still quite a few hurdles for U.S. Uh, users of cryptocurrency to go through in the future. And I still think using a DEX and taking true custody of your coins will always be something that you should be taking advantage of. That's going to wrap it up for today's episode. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.